Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA video practice exam for you today full of great tips for your exam. It's the case of implicit versus explicit. Before we get to that, I just want to thank you and from all of us here at TBA, thank you. We're now over 7,000 members in our video boot camps on Udemy. And to celebrate that and to get to 10,000 as quickly as we can, we're giving 60% off every course for a limited time with the coupon code BULLDOG60. And you can put the exclamation point in there or not. Uh, it works either way. That means, though, that your CCNA Video Bootcamp membership is only $44 for 22 hours of hardcore lab pack training. The route switch and t-shoot courses are also $44 each. And the CCNP all-in-one download where you get all three. It's over 50 hours of video bootcamp training, all from yours truly, for $119. Here is the URL. It's udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant to see the full list. And I've also got plenty of links on the YouTube videos as well, so we will see you there. Today's video practice exam, I've got five ACL statements here for you. And not only should you say true or false to each one, but you should know what the deal is with each one. Why is this true? Why is this false? Because if ACLs are throwing you a little bit, I'm just going to tell you that is perfectly natural. I went through the exact same thing when I started studying. Everybody does, even if they don't admit it. It just takes a little time to get used to the logic. But that's the great part. It's logic. So if you just follow a few simple rules, you'll get every exam question right about ACLs. Now let's go from top to bottom here in this list. First, an ACL beginning with permit any will indeed permit any traffic regardless of the other lines. B, an ACL ending with permit any will do the same. C, if you start an ACL with deny any, no traffic will ever be allowed. D, ACLs consisting only of written permit host statements will permit all traffic. And then finally, whether it's 5 or E, ACLs consisting only of written deny host statements will deny all traffic. If you want to pause the video and think about it, I think that's a good idea because there's a lot going on here. But let's go ahead and dive in because there are some great illustrations of our rules here that we've got to have down for the exam. First off, an ACL beginning with permit any will permit any traffic regardless of the, of the other lines. That's absolutely true. Whether it's on an exam or in a lab or in the real world, if you've got an ACL and it, it begins with a line permitting all traffic or denying all traffic, you better watch out because something funny is going on. And in this case, it wouldn't matter what the lines were after permit any because an ACL is not looking for the best match like a routing table parse does. What an ACL does, the, what the router does I should say, is look at that ACL from top to bottom and the first line it comes to that's a match, that's it right there. And that's what you got to remember when you remember that one simple rule right there is going to save you a lot of trouble. So if you've got permit any as the first line, well that's going to match all traffic, right? And the, the router's not even going to look at the other ACL lines. With the second one here, an ACL ending with permit any will do the same regardless of the other lines. That's false because you could have some deny statements in front of it and you'd be denying that traffic. Now third, if you start an ACL with deny any, no traffic will ever be allowed. That's absolutely true because if your ACL again begins with permit any or deny any, that's a bit of a red flag. And if you have a deny any, that's going to match any traffic and the router will not even look at the other lines. Fourth, ACLs consisting only of written permit host statements will permit all traffic. Well, that's false because you could have 20 permit host statements and they're permitting specific IP addresses. But then what do we have at the end of every ACL? And this is another rule we have to keep, uh, we have to have down called that implicit deny. The way I've always remembered it that's worked for me for a long time uh, is if traffic is not expressly permitted it is implicitly denied. That is, if you don't see it being permitted in that ACL, then it's not being permitted. And if it's not being permitted, it's got to be denied. Finally, ACLs consisting only of written deny host statements will deny all traffic. That is true. And why? Because we have a list, however many, of explicit denies, and then we have the implicit deny wrapping it all up. So just watch that. If you have an ACL and it's all denies, that means you are indeed denying everything because of the explicit deny. So keep hanging in there and working with those ACLs. It does come to you and it becomes second nature. Thanks for watching today's video boot camp. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.